Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a Dollar Tree haul for you guys and it's going to be a small haul and it's not going to be in any particular order. I, at the end of the video I will post a ton of pictures that I took at Dollar Tree to show you some of the products that are out there. So um, let's get started with this haul. So there's some things that I have on my wish list that I haven't found. So while looking for those things on my wish list I found a couple other little things. So I got this cute little beauty and the beast bag and if you can see on the side it has a little rosebud two little rosebuds on there so pretty it has like the gold leafing here and I have picked one of these up for my niece for Christmas and then I put her Christmas present in here and so I saw this one again and I thought you know what I'm gonna get it for myself then the other one that I picked up, the other bag that I picked up was the Minnie Mouse. You guys see that one? She's winking. The side, it has pastel stripes. Can you guys see that right here? Pink pastel stripes. And then it has like, it looks like some kind of like splatter looking stuff. It's just the style of the bag because it's all over the bag. It is really cute. The ones that are on my wish list is the Mickey one. And then it has all the little like, Mickey babies or something like that friends all on there so I'm looking for those two and um, I'm also looking for the little lip gloss unicorns can't find those the next items that I picked up are for the kitchen nothing no big deal it's these micro fiber towels and you get four in this pack and they had different colors they had them in white and stuff I just got the the tan colored ones what I like to use these for is after I'm done cooking, especially if I fried something and then, you know, you get oil all over your cabinets. What I like to use is I like to use the microfiber cloth and then just wet it in some warm uh, water with a little bit of dish soap. Make sure you, you know, take all that water out. You just, it's just barely damp. And then I go ahead and I wipe all my cabinets with that. And then I only use that towel for that. I don't use it for anything else. Then I picked up two of these regular like terry cloth towels, washcloths. I like to use these for the kitchen when I'm cleaning the counters. So there's two in this pack. I mainly went to the Dollar Tree because I needed mascara. And I like the waterproof mascara, but Dollar Tree doesn't carry waterproof. But I need mascara now. So I picked up this Wet n Wild in black then I found these little clips which I need to put some on my hair let me see can you guys there you go you get eight in a pack and I got two and the colors are a little different I don't know if you guys can see the difference in colors put it side by side so I picked up those two then the other thing that I like to pick up from Dollar Tree because they're not, it's not bad quality, is sunglasses. I like these big sunglasses. These are, they have ultraviolet protection and it says polycarbon, polycarbonate lenses. And I like the real big fly eyes. I don't know why I just do. But yeah, and they're not bad for a dollar. So I like to have choices in my sunglasses. I picked up this microfiber duster so I can get into the little areas that I cannot reach when I'm cleaning. So I've never tried this before, so hopefully it works. I picked up a pack of three razors. Oh no, they're five. Five count razors and it's the three blades in it. So we also needed some hand soap. So I picked up a few different hand soaps. I picked this one up. It's Jerkins Extra Moisturizing Hand Wash. And it's 7.5 flow ounces. And I know this one smells good. So I picked up two of these. Then I also picked up two of the dials. It says Soothing Care. Uh, 9.375 flow ounces. So I picked up two of those. And then I picked up this dial. These are in the smaller side, but these are for the kitchen. So this one is 5.5 flow ounces and it's an almond milk dial. And then the other one is lemon citrus. Definitely for the kitchen. I seen a few candles. Dollar Tree has some pretty decent candles and I dropped this candle 
when I opened my car door, the bag went flying and actually these candles went flying. So I'm surprised they did not break. So I'm glad they didn't break. But I picked the, the Woodwick candles. And this one is in Soothing Eucalyptus by Old Williamsburg Candle. And let's see. You can see the Woodwick there. And this one, it's a pretty strong scent. So um, I hope that it the throw is decent. I mean, I know they're really small and they're from the Dollar Tree. And you know what? So far, like that uh, chocolate s'mores ones, that one had actually a really good throw. And it smelled really good. And then this one is in Invigor Invigorate. And it has the... And this one, this one actually smells pretty good. Mm. I hope that they have a decent throw. At least I'll use those when I'm taking a bath. And then I found these facial wipes from Bolero. They're the vanilla cream. I like to use these when I take off like my eyeliner or my, um, my eyeshadow, stuff like that. These don't work that great. But I get a little bit of cold cream and I use that on my eyes and then I use this to wipe it off. So. And then I found this Conair style and detangle one comb right here. Then the other thing that I found is this phone holder. It looks like little hands going like this with their thumbs up. And it tells you it's good. It fits most smartphones and tablets. I'm sure it'll fit mine. And you can see the different ways you can use it back here. Let me show you this is what it looks like. So I guess you just stretch it out like this. And then it, you lock it in here on the sides. So it would probably be like, uh, let me take it out of its... So I guess you can put it like, yeah, see, there it is. Ah! So it would go right there like that. Obviously, you would have to yeah, set it down so it stays on like that. And I guess you can also do it this way. Let me see. Oh, I don't know if I could do it that way. It sounds like it's going to break. Let me see. So you can also do it like this. Hmm. Ah, that just went flying. Then the other thing I found were these uh, alphabet stencils. Phone call. Sorry, guys. So I also found that these stencils are the alphabet. And this, let me see if you guys can see. Where is it at? Okay. This is what the alphabet looks like right here, like that. That's the style. And that's how big it is. So I don't know if you guys can see with the glare. But yeah, that's the, the actual size of the alphabet. So I don't know what I'm going to use it yet for, but I figured I would get it now. So I picked up a box of Kleenex. No, for hubby, he's sick. So when I craft, I like to have something down, like a little mat, so I can put my glue gun or glue actually falls on there. I don't have to worry that it's getting, it's ruining my table or anything like that. So I picked up this cute little plastic mat, and it has the princess on there. It has uh, Ariel... Uh, Tangled, Cinderella, and Beauty and the Beast. So, I thought that was really cute. So that's what I'm going to be placing down like this so I can do my crafts on top of here. The other thing that I found, and I have some pictures on some of the Mickey ones that I didn't pick up, but I found these. They're um, velvet art posters, and they have a lot of Disney ones. They, like I said, they had some Mickey ones, and I just took a couple, of, I wasn't going to bring them, but then I thought, oh, I don't know what I'm going to use them for. So I I brought all these ones here, all the like princess ones and the frozen. So this is Anna with Olaf. And I figure I could, you can either use these for like an Easter basket or um, when you're done coloring them, frame them. So I might put some of these in like my daughter's basket or my niece's basket. And if I don't put them in the Easter baskets, then I'll just save them. And down the line, if I want to do like a little something for a kid, you know, a little girl or something, I can put them in there. So there's that one. So this is Anna and Elsa. 
and it comes with the little markers. And these are these are pretty big. They're uh, let's see, 11 by 15. So and then this one's one of my favorite ones. Look at the Little Mermaid. Isn't she cute? She's so pretty. And then the last one I picked up was Belle. Look at how pretty they are. And again, they also had, I think, they had Mickey and then Mickey with Donald. And then they had also the one from Cars. I, like I said, I took I took a ton of pictures, and I'm going to go ahead and insert. There's going to be a lot of pictures um, at the end of this video. So that is everything that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Um, I probably will be going back because I do have those things on my wish list that I want to find desperately because I want to put them in my Easter baskets. But anyway, uh, that is everything. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And now I'm going to go ahead and insert all those pictures that I took at Dollar Tree. Bye, guys.